Welcome to 20 Minutes or Less, I'm Joe Barretta. I'm the boy. Hey Disney, I see what you did there. E3 is in full swing and people got video games on the brain. So, why not release a trailer for a new animated movie that appeals to all sorts of ages because it's set in a video game world that spans the timeline of gaming, from Pong to Halo 4. That includes appearances from some of the biggest names in gaming history. I see what you did there, Disney. And it is spectacular. Hey, here's the trailer for Wreck-It Ralph. I got a brand new spirit Ralph, you're game jumping? What's your name? Wreck it, Ralph. Why are your hands so freakishly big? I don't know. Why are you so freakishly annoying? Here's the quick rundown. All the games are in an arcade, which is awesome. Wreck it, Ralph is the bad guy in a game called Wreck it, Ralph, but he's tired of being the bad dude. He longs to be loved, like his game's protagonist, Fix It Felix, who is basically Mario. Boom! You got a Nintendo theme. So, Wreck it, Ralph wants to be the hero, and he sees the opportunity in a first person shooter game. So, he goes into that game with the hopes of achieving a medal. Boom! Xbox theme. Instead, he unleashes a threat that might end up corrupting all the other games in the arcade. So, he really needs to become a hero, and he can only do so with the help of an adorable black haired video game glitch. Boom! Adorable girl that looks like Boo from Pixar's Monsters Inc. theme. Ow! I see what you did there, Disney. Yeah, they're just incorporating everything and they're like, what, Pixar? We don't need you. Yeah, we yeah. can still use all your stuff. It's basically just a F you to Pixar. Yeah. The best part of the whole thing is that Disney isn't only playing with video game archetypes here. They wrangled up legit characters from legit video games. Can we take another look at the uh, the meeting for the depressed bad guys? We've got Bowser, Dr. Robotnik, Zangief, Clyde the Orange, Pac-Man Ghost, M. Bison, and Kano. Oh, and also, later in the trailer, you see Q-Bird. Who doesn't love Q-Bird in all his awkward, horrible control scheme glory? Yeah, and you know what else you get? John C. Riley voicing Wreck-It Ralph himself. Jane Lynch as this hard as nails space marine. Sarah Silverman being annoying, weird. And Jack McBrayer. Everybody loves Jack McBrayer. There should be Jack McBrayer stuffed animal. It'd be called Teddy McBrayers. I'd, I'd buy the crap out of a Teddy McBrayer. Here's a couple of reasons why I'm excited by this movie. One, it, it just appeals to my gaming nostalgic past. It makes me feel like a kid again when I see these images on the big screen. And two, it's just gonna be chock full of Easter eggs. The whole time you're gonna be pointing out video game characters that you know and love, and it's just awesome that they're gonna be in the movies. What I'm personally excited about is the fact that we've had so many video game movies for so long, but none of them really seem to hit because none of them really seem to be, you know, good. So at least this has the opportunity opportunity to possibly be amazing if they do everything right, which according to this trailer, it looks like they might actually be doing. And, but one thing I am a little bit cautious about is I know anytime I watch a trailer and it is a computer animated movie, my immediate thought is, oh sweet, I hope this is the new Pixar movie. And then when it's not, I'm always like, oh no, it's not Pixar. And I get a little bit worried. That said, it is Disney. So I still have faith because, you know, Tangled was Tangled good. Tangled was amazing. Tangled is a good movie. It's hilarious. Yeah, very sarcastic. That horse is funny. Oh man. So are you excited for this movie and what video game characters do you want to see in it? Let us know in the comments down below. And while you're down there, it helps us out a lot if you could possibly click that like button. If you like seeing our faces like all the time, you can hit the subscribe button. We have this annotation or sourcefed.com, and that's where you can go to see five daily stories or anything else we've ever done. And if you like seeing our faces, but you also like seeing our silhouettes, you can hop on over to Four Human Peoples and maybe pick up a poster or two. And we can sign them if you want because we have hands as, in addition to faces and silhouettes. And I don't know what I'm really talking about. I'm kind of tired, Joe. I think I'm going to take a nap. I'm Elliot Morgan. I'm Joe Beretta. All right, bye.